It's my current situation. Beautiful day. Dogs in the front yard. Got dinner in the oven. And I decided to uh, give myself a little bit of a mental health break. Got a little Jack and Ginger and a good cigar. And I'm just enjoying the quiet. Also enjoying the peace of mind of not falling for the okie doke as everybody runs around panicking about the COVID-19 virus. One of the things that I'm hearing from a lot of folks that are really concerned is about their sources of information. As I talk about in my current podcast, and it is available online, I'm not listening to the White House. There's a serious credibility gap there. However, I am listening to Kentucky's governor, Andy Bashir. I'm listening to the folks from the Centers of Disease Control in Atlanta, and I'm listening to the folks at uh, the World Health Organization to get the most accurate information. It's just about using common sense. That's really all it is. Shout out to everybody that is uh, still working, deemed essential personnel. Shout out to everybody that's pitching in and volunteering in order to help other folks out. And mad love to everybody that's keeping a cool head as we play out the uh, COVID-19 virus. Plenty of information online, but you got to know what information to look at. If it's not from your state's website or from the CDC or the World Health Organization, I wouldn't trust it. Andy Brashear is gaining a lot of respect all over the country for the way he's handling the crisis. Shout out to my man, Senator John Hoffman, Minnesota. He's doing a hell of a job in his state, along with their legislature. California, New York, Illinois, other states that are going to be moving to basically get a real handle on everything, kind of shut stuff down so that... Uh, this 15-day incubation period can go by. Fewer of us that are on the streets, the better chance we've got of fighting this and then beating it. So I don't care what anybody in the White House has to say. Uh, even the doctors and specialists there, uh, by being seen with the so-called president, as far as I'm concerned, is a serious credibility gap. If we're going to beat this thing, y'all, it's going to be at the state and local level. Folks are already doing a hell of a job in doing that. So keep your head up. Keep your heart strong. If you're a prayerful family, keep doing that. We've got some people that have been diagnosed with the virus, so we're pulling for them. And uh, with any kind of luck, they'll be able to get it around to getting everybody tested. So while I'm ignoring the briefings out of the White House, I am watching what's being done in the Senate and in the Congress with this relief package. Uh, so the last thing that we need is another bailout of corporate America. You saw what they did with the last bailout. If you work for any one of those corporations, chances are you didn't get squat. But they bought a hell of a lot of stock back. And it's like they're expecting us to fall for the okie doke once again. So keep your eye on that. And in the meantime, Jack and I salute those of you that are keeping a cool head. We'll get through this. And oh yeah, my podcast, it's on my website, markgunmedia.com. Check it out. Peace.